We are in Lincoln, a talking lead with Terry Haney, the director of the Nebraska LEAD program, leadership, education, action, and development. And we're in the search for members to be in class 34. Uh, Terry, the uh, LEAD program uh, continues to hum along. Yes, it does, Ken. Here we are, a program that started in 1981, and here we are, we're recruiting for LEAD class 34. And uh, when you do that, you're not looking for Nebraska farmer and ranchers, but also those involved and have interest in agriculture, all, all, all frames. That's right. We're looking for those individuals uh, that farm or ranch or are involved in occupations that support production agriculture. Let's talk about uh, the LEAD program. I think uh, many folks around the state are familiar with it. Probably what the first objection you have is, and man, that's an awful lot of days to be gone, and I just don't have time. Is that is that probably the, the two biggest objections you, you have? You know, I do hear those excuses all the time that, you know, it takes a lot of time, I don't have that time, and so forth. And, you know, it does take some time, Ken. As you all know, having been a graduate of LEAD 27, uh, you know, they're going to spend about 60 days away from that farm, ranch, or business over a period of, of 19 months. So, you know, before they think about applying for LEAD, uh, they really need to look at getting their life organized as far as who's going to take care of things, backfill things, make sure that they have their family on board in that, that uh, operation on the farm or ranch, or their, their workplace uh, people, their other employees on board with that. Now there's a lot of things that go on with the LEAD program, uh, opportunities to see different parts of the world that you maybe haven't seen, but also uh, you get to see parts of Nebraska that maybe you you, uh, you don't see. You may think you know Nebraska, but you'll find something you probably didn't know. Well, that's right. And, you know, I hear LEAD fellows each year say, you know, uh, you know, they may be from southeast Nebraska. They've never been to the panhandle of Nebraska. And, uh, you know, I think it's important that um, Nebraskans, uh, if they're going to be in leadership positions, understand the culture, understand the geography, the climate, the cropping systems, uh, the, the whole livestock systems of the whole state. And, Ken, during that first year, the LEAD fellows study local, state, and national issues. First year also includes 10 days to Kansas City, Washington, D.C., and Chicago. And then the second year, uh, you know, it's another six three-day theme-based seminars, and then that international component where we will travel uh, abroad, you typically visiting three or four countries. Now, are there prerequisites to be involved or to apply for the LEAD program? Well, they need to be a Nebraska resident for at least three years. Uh, their occup occupation has to be derived from agriculture. Uh, you know, we're looking for men and women generally between the ages of 25 and 50 uh, that have an open mind, are willing to learn, commit to the program, listen. And, uh, and, you know, when they're done with the program, we expect them to take an active role in the leadership, whether it's in their local community or, or regionally or state. One of the things you'll find being a part of the LEAD program is that regardless of where you are around the state, you'll find a friend, but also folks that are in leadership positions have probably gone through the LEAD program. Well, we, we don't claim that, uh, you know, we're the only game in town, but we do fast track our participants into positions. Uh, you know, we provide experiences and opportunities to help them find out what they're really passionate about and then uh, provide that avenue for them to get in, into those positions where they can make a difference. Now, the deadline's coming up, so if folks want to uh, uh, find out more information or to, to get that packet to fill out, uh, how can they do that? Well, our application deadline's always June 15th. Uh, they need to call us right away, 402 Four seven two six eight one zero. Check us out on the on the their favorite browser on the World Wide Web. Uh, lead l e a d dot u n l dot e d u. Uh, contact us by email. Give us a call. Find out more about the program. Uh, we can get that electronic application out to them and and go from there. Well, Terry, you're also uh, alumni of LEAD. What was uh, your favorite experience uh, of your time through LEAD? Well, for me, I. You know, to pick out just one highlight, Ken, um, I hadn't traveled abroad very much, so uh, that was an interesting part of it, but I had not been to Washington, D.C., and I was 43 years old when I made my, my first visit there, and, you know, I, to me, that was a real highlight to go with, you know, 29 of my best friends to go to Washington, D.C., meet with our elected leaders, uh, meet with many in business and industry that shape our, our, our policies and so forth, so I'd have to say it was the visit to Washington, D.C. Well, I think mine in Class 27 that I was a part of was the opportunity to still have friends around the state and to get to kind of know more about their operation and how you know we had those lifelong connections and regardless of what organizations we're involved in or if we see each other uh, in town we we, we, can, we we pick right up where we were so again Terry uh, thanks a lot and, and again give that number and the connection that folks want to learn more about the LEAD program. Call us right away at 402-472-6810 check us out on the World Wide Web at www.lead.com dot unl dot edu.
Terry Haney, the uh, director of the Nebraska LEAD program. We're on campus at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln. For AgView, I'm Ken Rogers.